You think that he could last a long time with you going into the later rounds? I'd be surprised if he even makes it out of two rounds. You'd be surprised if he makes it out of two rounds? Yeah, I just have too much power, too much speed. And with my coaching staff the past year and a half, working with them every single day, I've become literally a new fighter. Will you be high when you fight, Jake Paul? Oh, I'm gonna be so high off life, yeah. <laughs> you high in life. Will you be high on marijuana as well? That's a possibility too. It is a possibility. Jake Paul has checked Mike Tyson at a live press conference, giving him a savage warning the highly anticipated fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul has ignited a firestorm of debate, with both fans and analysts questioning whether Tyson is fit to step into the ring one of the loudest voices in. Opposition is former UFC star Cha Sonnen, who has urged officials to intervene and cancel the match, citing concerns over Tyson's current health struggles. The controversy around the match intensified when Tyson faced a serious health issue in May, just weeks before the fight was initially set to take place. While on a flight, he suffered a painful flare-up of a stomach ulcer, prompting him to temporarily withdraw and push the bout to a later date, even after a five-month postponement. Worries about Tyson's health remain a central. Topic in the news son in expressing concern for the ex-champion's well-being has urged the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation to step and revoke Tyson's license and call off the match in a recent Instagram post Sonnen shared his concerns admitting he wasn't completely certain about Tyson's medical condition but stressed its seriousness noting it was grave enough to force the former champion off the plane and into a wheelchair he criticized the TDLR stating there's no statement no response not even a second thought from the overseeing commission to reconsider this fight Sonan also. Question Tyson's readiness for the fight was Mike training after that did this give him five more months to prepare for. Jake Paul he wondered suggesting that the health scare might have hindered Tyson's preparation Sonan recounted how Tyson admitted to facing mobility challenges after the incident but reassured fans that he bounced back to full strength within a few months Mike pulled out was it a heart attack or a Stroke something very serious I can't recall exactly Suwon said, underlining his worry the ex-UFC fighter highlighted that Tyson given his age is grappling with the natural decline of his physical capabilities whereas Jake Paul still in his athletic prime continues to sharpen his skills with each fight despite lacking all the details like the fact that his former UFC colleague Mike Perry stepped in for Tyson against Paul Sonnen still cast out on the former champion's performance he said I don't know how Mike would have done that against Paul with just two months remaining until the fight one thing is clear the controversy shows no signs of. Fading in debates over whether Tyson should step into the ring will keep flooding social media as the big day draws near meanwhile the anticipation for the forthcoming showdown between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson intensified this week. When Paul was spotted hoisting what seemed to be fake weights while donned in a fat suit this peculiar stunt seems seems to be a playful jab at Tyson who previously labeled Paul as fat and funky in a clip that is taken social media by Storm Paul, who boasts about benching 500 LB is seen lifting. Bumper weights that look significantly lighter than his claims suggest the highly publicized fight is still on track attracting growing media interest in a recent appearance on Jimmy Kimmel's show Tyson was quizzed about his confidence in defeating Paul the former heavyweight champion candidly. Replied very badly. New PR, 500 pounds! I'm the strongest heavyweight in existence. No spot. Go Go on, man. Go Come on. 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 The use of a fat suit in the stunt has sparked debate over the extent to which the event is choreographed for entertainment value, regardless of the theatrics the is anticipated to be a significant live spectacle, with Netflix allegedly playing a role in its broadcast fans are buzzing with. Speculation pondering whether the fight will culminate in a hilarious performance or a decisive loss for Paul Tyson, known for his remarkable performances in earlier matches particularly, his exhibition with Roy Jones Jr. continues to be a powerful force in the ring as anticipation builds fans are on, the edge of their seats eager to witness the thrilling. Spectacle that lies ahead moreover Jake Paul is sparring without spending any money in a video with Complex's Joe Lama at Stadium Goods in New York Paul casually mentioned that he'll be rocking the most expensive fight shorts ever with the whole outfit priced at a cool $1 million that's one way. To fight in style Paul is teaming up once more with the shoe surgeon to craft his look for the eagerly awaited match previously he donned a $100,000 ensemble featuring bespoke Travis Scott Xair Jordan 1 boxing boots paired with a striking black and white jacket. Man he's great like his team everyone they're fast they make dope sh they're making the best boxing outfits 
And for this Tyson fight, we're making the most expensive fight shorts really? ever. So got got some crazy sh planned and uh, yeah, we're, we're trying to make a statement. This isn't the first instance of Paul aiming to surpass the $1 million mark for his boxing gear. He mentioned that his shorts for the rematch against Tyrone Woodley would be valued at approximately $1. 2 million Paul's luck continued when he defeated the former UFC champion via sixth round knockout in the shorts Paul and Tyson are slated to face each other on November 15th at AN Stadium. This matchup was initially scheduled for July 20th, but an ulcer problem that arose for Tyson in May necessitated the postponement. This marks Tyson's first sanctioned boxing match since 2005. His most recent ring appearance was an exhibition bout against Roy Jones Jr. in November 20,120. Paul boasts an impressive 10-1 record in his professional boxing career. His latest victory came on July 20th at Amal Arena in Tampa, Florida, where he defeated Mike Perry by TKO after Tyson was unable to compete that day. Mike Tyson faces a significant challenge as he gears up to battle Jake Paul, the YouTube sensation turned professional boxer in the lead up to this much anticipated match. Iron Mike is throwing jabs at his Cleveland born arrival on social media. You might be curious about how this ties into Hollywood legends, though. Here's the story as he gears up for his highly anticipated match on November 15th at Arlington's at Tan Stadium. The baddest man on the planet has been providing insights into his training and daily life through his YouTube series. Behind the mic in a recent episode, Mike was spotted enjoying a performance by the legendary magician David Blaine in Las Vegas while shooting the behind-scenes episode Tyson unexpectedly crossed paths with the iconic Al Pacino and his partner Noah Lala in the midst of the bustling green room Alala. Inquired about Tyson's upcoming fight with the problem child, albeit without recalling Paul's name, curious Alala asked Tyson, wait Mike, who are you fighting? You're fighting one of those boys, right? While Paul is popular, it appears his popularity hasn't reached the Hollywood elites quite yet regardless. What Al Fala reminded Tyson, you better win later. Tyson took the clip of this exchange and shared it on his ex account, taking a dig at Paul's popularity. Oh. <laughs> Dang, we need hair and makeup. You guys are going to see Mike is going to come up on stage tonight and do something a little yeah, crazy. Do no way. <laughs> oh, oh, now I'm out there. Oh, my. Look. Wait, Mike, who are you fighting? Let me You're see. Fighting one of those boys, Mike, right? Remember the <laughs> eye. No, a thousand no, years is no, on you. Stanislavski, please prosper. Let me be 